Rassas! 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 Oh, what's up with him? I've seen him before. Whenever he gets a whiff of an especially tasty pie, it's like sleepwalking without the sleep. You mean he's pie walking? Yep, yeah, and I think I know where. <laughs> A mashed potato garnish and pepped by moi, Monsieur Tort Visage, pie maker extraordinaire. Oh, oh lovely. Fantastic. Yum. Mm -hmm. Ah, no touching without buying. No. <laughs> My beautiful face! Uh, my beautiful pie! Dad? Oh, oh, hello, son. Uh, fancy seeing you here. <gasps> Lads! Uh, hey, no, just you. Uh, you know, checking out the competition. Oh, not bad. Needs more pepper. Ah, don't make me laugh. You know nothing about pies. Oi! If my son reckons your pies need pepper, then your pies need pepper. I taught that boy everything I know about pies. Oh, really? And how long does that take, huh? Five minutes? I'll have you know I bake the best pies in Beano Town. Ask anyone you like. Ask your customers. Oh. Magnifique! It seems that even your friends prefer the taste of my pies. <laughs> we never said that. Although, this is very tasty. <laughs> oh, that does it! We'll settle this once and for all. I challenge you to a pie-making contest! Oh, bien sûr! And whoever loses has to close down their shop for good. <laughs> oh, uh, um, I'm going to second. Unless you are un scared cat. <laughs> My dad's not scared of anything. He'll bake a pie you'll never forget. Six o'clock tonight, right here in the street. The town can decide. <laughs> oh, what have I said? What have I done? If I lose this bet, I'll have to close down and leave town. What? Leave town? But that'll break up the menaces. And what about Paul? Oh, his friends are here too. We can't let that happen. You'll just have to bake the most popular pie of your life. But don't worry, we're here to help. I've seen your idea of help before and it always gets out of hand. <sighs> what are you planning? We're going to find the best flavour in the world. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Butcher, got a pie here with your name on it. <gasps> hey, Mr. Butcher, got a pie here with your name on it. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Très bien. These nincompoops are no threat to me. Hey, don't worry, we've brought enough for everyone. Hey, don't worry, we've bought enough for everyone! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, how are we going to find the town's favourite flavour if no one trusts us enough to take one? I've got it! We'll go undercover. Huh? Undercover? Très sneaky, why? But Monsieur Tarte Visage is a sneakier. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to tell us your favourite! Oh, apple, no, please! Oh, oh, thank you! Chicken pot pie, please! Oh, yes, yummy! Scrumptious! No, 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 no! This cannot be! They must not find their favourite flavour! Huh? Hey! Isn't that... Oh, oh, <laughs> Sergeant, we must 
punish these troublemakers, no? Perhaps I can uh, make a petit suggestion? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, no one will dare try our pies now. We'll never find Beano Town's favourite flavour. Ah, oh, Tort Visage started it. He splashed me with mash. We can't let him win, or the menaces will be split up forever. Imagine that. Mash! <laughs> it's too big to eat. Ah, oh, no. If only Pyfees were still here. Mmm, <laughs> pie. Oh, oh, hey, hey. Oh, hi, Dennis. Oh, this mixed-up pie mix is the best. Huh? Oh, <gasps> whoa! He's right. This is delicious. <laughs> We've still got a chance. Our fantastic flavour is right here on Pie Face's Pie Face. We just need to know what's in it. Pie Face, what hit you? Um, some pies. Only one thing for it. <laughs> More cherry. Oh. Oh. Uh, now chocolate. <laughs> Just when I think you lot can't get any sillier. Back off, Walter. This is a highly scientific experiment. Try apple plus strawberry. Huh? <laughs> Nearly. There's just something missing. I can't quite put my finger on it. Oh, we're running out of time. Think, Pyface. Do you remember anything? I remember suddenly feeling very cold. Eh? Why would you feel cold on such a hot day? Of course. Angel Face is flying ice cream. Oi, Walter. I bet you can't hit me with that ice cream. Hmm. Bet you I can. Yeah. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Thanks, Walter. Do. That's it. The missing ingredient. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. So, three parts cherry, one part chocolate, yep. one part beef. <laughs> really? Don't doubt the pie master. And don't forget the ice cream. Oh, we're gonna need a bigger bowl. Ha uh ha! -uh. Hmm? Ha ha ha! Beth is too scared to even turn up. <laughs> a great big recipe makes a great big pie. Nothing can stop us now. Hold it right there. After that fiasco in the park, no one wants you coming near them with a pie. So, Monsieur Tort Visage requested a police line. <laughs> uh -huh. Safety first, way. <laughs> but, but if people don't taste my pie, I don't stand a chance of winning. There we go. Set one foot across this line and I'll arrest the lot of you. Huh? Oh. And it just remains for you to name me the winner. After all, this is the only pie in the contest, no? <laughs> ah! No! Many seeds! Two arms! <laughs> Dennis, I said... You said don't set one foot across the line. So we won't. Dennis! Stop using those catapults at once. <laughs> yes, Dennis. Listen to your papa. And start using these much bigger catapults. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let our old friend get drummed out of town, did you? No one splits up our gang. Oh, oh. hey, everyone! It's delicious! Oh, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, 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 very good oh, 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 Delicious! Does everyone agree? Oh, yes. 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 yes! Right then, Dino Town, we have a winner! Yeah, that is it! You win! I would not stay another second in this crazy town if you paid me! Does this mean our pie shop's safe? Too right it does, son! <laughs> and more importantly, so are the menaces! We're a winning team! Now who's for second? Oh, quick, Paul, hide. It 
doesn't apply to potatoes, pie face. Classmates, I hope you'll all be voting for me to be this year's class prefect. <laughs> we wouldn't vote for you if you were the only kid standing. <laughs> and you are the only kid standing. No one else wants that boring job. Boring? I think not. Helping teachers clean school rules is what I was born to do. Yeah, tell him, Walter. Fit for Walter! Fit for Walter! Ah, Sausage and Mash Monday! Oh, but you're banned, Nasha. Unless. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper! One bite for me. Ow. And one for you. You need a haircut, Dennis. School rules say hair should be no more than ten centimetres long. Huzzah! Oh, lucky me! Stop! Broken in 30 seconds, Dennis. That's a record even for you. Hey, no hair over 10 centimetres, no pets in school. What's the third one? No sausages flung into the teacher's mouths between 1 and 2 on a Monday afternoon. How am I supposed to know that? Huh, it's in the rule book. Learn them all tonight, or it's detention every day until you do. Brilliant! I bet there's rules in here that I haven't even dreamed of breaking. Ah. Ooh. Rule 409, no fat powder in the dinner hall. Rule 410, no skydiving in assembly. <laughs> you sing just like Walter. <laughs> Listen to this. Rule 411, the class prefect gets to bring a pet to school. It's a really old rule made so Lord Beanoworth's son could bring his tiger to class. Hold on a sec. If you were prefect, you could bring your pet to school. Nash, Nash, Nasha! Yeah, but then I'd have to be the teacher's pet. <laughs> Anyway, I've got a much better idea. Time for Plan D and G. Voting is today, so if nobody else wants to be class prefect... Prepare to grovel my subjects. Uh, I'm, I mean, uh, I graciously accept. Hang on, there's someone else who wants to stand for class prefect. You? I'd rather eat a cactus. <laughs> Dennis can't stand as class prefect. The rules say prefects can't have had more than five detentions. He's had 500. Which is why our candidate is... Paul! A potato? No, 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 Dennis. That is a pet. No pets in school. Well, you said yesterday that rule didn't apply to Paul. Then it's time to change the rules. But, Headmaster, the rule is nonsense. He's a potato, a spud. A chip. <gasps> There's nothing in the school rule book that says potatoes can't stand for class prefect. Enough, all of you. Clearly, we need to change the rules to disallow vegetables. Thank you, Headmaster. A triumph for common sense. But the rules say school rules can only be changed by a majority vote at a school meeting on the third Tuesday after a full moon, provided there's a J in the month. What a stupid system! Can we change it? Well, yes, but only by a majority vote on the third Tuesday... So what you're saying is there's nothing to stop Paul standing for class prefect. Oh, it seems not. Don't worry, miss. I'm fairly confident I can beat a root vegetable. Very well. May the best man... Or potato. Or potato win. <laughs> <laughs> Walter, I'm efficient, respectable, and a stickler for rules. What more could you want? How about a bit of fun? Let's put an end to Walter's waffle by voting for Paul. <laughs> no bikes in school, and any candidate who breaks school rules is immediately disqualified. Ha, 
the potatoes out. I win. Aha! But Paul didn't break any rules. He's over there. Hello. Detention, both of you. <laughs> Don't worry, Nasha. Detention's a small price to pay. When Paul wins, he's bringing a pet to school. And that's going to be you. Nasha! Nasha! Aha! You're trying to ruin my campaign so you can bring your stupid dog to school. Not at all, Walter. It's just that Paul's clearly the better candidate. Ha! <laughs> Nonsense. What on earth is a potato good for? <laughs> Town School. I'm asked to name one thing a potato is good for, and I give you chips for your fish, mash for your sausages, jackets for your cheese and beans. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm clearly a better candidate. For one thing, I'm smarter than a potato. <laughs> oh, really? What? Six times five times four times three times two times one times zero. Oh, oh, oh carry the one. Oh, oh. Psh, rubbish. But Paul got it right. What? Paul said nothing. And nothing is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's a better athlete than you two. Oh, what nonsense. I bet you he can reach the end of the playground before you can. You'll run on three. Three! <laughs> I'd like to see a potato get there before me. Potato three, Walter nil. I've had enough of this. I'm turning you into mash. <laughs> 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 Utterly, utterly ludicrous! It's a potato! A potato! Do you want all the other classes to laugh at us? Thankfully, sanity prevails! That prefect badge is mine! Psst. Looks like we'll have to rely on our top secret plan after all! Yeah. Something. Let me see. See what? You mean these plans? I yeah. wouldn't do that if I were you, Walter. You'd need the agility of a cat to get up there. And you've got the agility of an elephant. Hmm. The agility of a cat, eh? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I knew he'd fall for it. <laughs> Grab those plans. Walter. Yeah. <gasps> I'm shocked. These are plans for cheating to win the election. <gasps> Walter. Ooh. These are not mine. But I caught you red-handed. Literally. And, miss, isn't bringing your pet into school against the rules? And aren't rule breakers disqualified, miss? Hmm. Walter, maybe you're not a perfect prefect after all. What? No! <laughs> oh, dear. Looks like there's only one candidate left, miss. So, we have a clear winner. Your new class prefect is Paul the Potato. Oh! Yeah! Give it up for Prefect Paul! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> you know this is only till they get the rules changed. Yeah, but it'll be fun while it lasts. Speaking of which... Everyone say hello to the class prefect's pet. <laughs> Oof, you horrible hound. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a bad loser, Walter. You didn't stand a chance against Team Menace. <laughs> Go and have a goo 
little balloon fight later. Great, eh? Oh, Dennis! It's school photo day. You have to stay clean. Stay clean? Me? <sighs> yes, Dennis. I want Mum to have a photo of you looking absolutely sparkling. Upstairs, now. Morning, Mr. Um, Walter's dad. Listen, a uh, little favour. You know it's school photo day. Yes, of course. Walter's just had his 13th bath in preparation. He should be clean enough now. Well, after his shower, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, um, I want Dennis to stay clean too. Uh, thing is, I've got to be rushing off to work now. Well, if Dennis goes to school on his skateboard, he'll get mucky. So, uh, could you take him to school along with Walter? <laughs> what, and have Dennis make a mess in my lovely car? Oh, no, 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 no. It won't do that. You're not going to get yourself <laughs> uh, messy, are you, Dennis? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Me? Get messy? No, of course not, Dad. <laughs> I'm warning you, Dennis. You better stay clean. If Mum doesn't like the photo, you're grounded for a month. A month? Just if I get dirty? <laughs> Well, that threat seems to have worked very well. Have him wait outside. We'll set off soon. <laughs> oh, thank you ever so much. You know, you, you, you really are too... <laughs> kind. <laughs> oh, Dennis. I see you've prepared for the school photo. Rather than smelling of an entire rubbish dump this morning, you only smell of a cow pat. <laughs> oh, oh, Dennis, you appear to have some paint on you. Oh, no. Can't out menace a menace, Walter. I'm squeaky clean right now. I know it. No, 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 really. You have some paint on you right to... There. Huh? Ah! Walter! I could get grounded for a month! Oh, sorry, Dennis. I had no idea. You better wash that off then. Oh, don't worry. Dad won't leave until you're in the car with me. You're quite safe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, right, boys. Shall we... Wait. Where's Dennis? Oh, he's in the car already, Father. Yeah, yeah jolly good. Quieter than usual, isn't he? <laughs> ah, hey, Walter! Wait! <laughs> oh, now how am I going to get to school? Outside any longer, I'm bound to get dirt on me. I can't help it. The only way I'm going to make it to school without getting mucky is if I take <laughs> the bus. The regimental command will love these two ludicrously large and unfeasibly unstable cream ghetto that I can barely keep a hold of. Oops, nearly tripped. Luckily, I didn't. Oh, uh oh, all the menace opportunity ahead! <laughs> uh, can't resist. Must menace. What's that? <laughs> Thanks, Nasha. If I'd have tripped the colonel, I'd be caked in cake. <laughs> ah! The bus! <laughs> oh, next bus isn't here for another hour. OK, Nasha. We're going to have to make it there on skateboard. Oh, brilliant! It's snowing! <laughs> Nash? Hang on. That's not snow. That's... Beautiful gelatos! 
looks like we're on foot from here. And there's not much time left. The only way to get to school on time is if we go through... Ah! Uh, Peanut Town Park! Uh, uh, maybe I was wrong. As long as I stay on the path, nothing can make me dirty. Ladies and gentlemen, yes? I am happy to present the reenactment of the Battle of Beano Town. From the north came the invading Fulchester army who were armed with mud pies. <laughs> and to the south, the brave Beano Town defenders who were armed with custard pies. <laughs> The chances. Now watch the carefully choreographed reenactment of Beano Town's finest hour. <laughs> Next to have their photo taken, Dennis. Perhaps I should go next, Mrs. Creature. Something tells me Dennis won't be attending. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Walter? Oh, uh, Dennis. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you. <laughs> Gosh, look at how clean you are. Yeah, no thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sure this is all just a simple misunderstanding. Um, let's just shake on it. Nasha, Walter thinks we should shake. You know what? I agree. Would you do the honour? Nash, Nash. <laughs> Ready, Mrs. Creature. Uh, all right, Dennis. Smile and arms by your side, please. <laughs> on a timer, your picture will be taken in just ten seconds' time. But, oh, dearie me, I dropped my pen. Well, it's, uh, yeah, well, I, it, it is, I suppose. <laughs> so, no month of being grounded? Yes! Outside, Nasha! Time for a goo filled balloon fight! <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> Our lovely little boy. <laughs> Hang on, what's the word I'm looking for? 
Ever? Yeah, ever! They've cancelled the end of term trip to the adventure playground! What? And even worse, look what they've replaced it with! <laughs> A frog? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard! Who would swap the Adventure Playground trip for a prom? They must be the most vile, evil, twisted person in the whole universe! Hey, boys. Looking forward to my prom? <laughs> Your prom? Your prom? Oh, you can thank me later. I told Daddy it was time we got rid of the boring old trip to the Adventure Playground. I mean, it's so immature. We're ten! Proms are for secondary school kids. We don't want a prom. Everyone wants a trip to the Adventure Playground. Yeah, they have balloons there. And ropes to swing on. They even have an ice rink now. We want a big Well, those are all very good points. But what you're forgetting is... <laughs> Toodles! My face, the emergency custard pie, if you would be so kind. It wasn't me for once. Ah, oh. Your face. No! Oh. Ah, yes. Dennis, I am getting it! Oh no! Dennis, Angel Face is going to. Whoa! What does that mean? It means we better put the brakes on her before she crashes. Come on! noises, so she must be okay. <laughs> Woo! Maybe I won't get into trouble for this. <laughs> oh, uh, maybe I will. But the skateboard was an accident. I don't care if it was an accident. Detention! Oh. Daddy? Oh, oh, yes, sweetie? Um, detention seems a bit harsh on poor Dennis. Oh, thanks, Angel Face. Maybe you could make it up to me by... Oh, I don't know. Helping me with the school prom. What? No! No, I'll take detention! Double detention! Triple detention! Wonderful idea, Angel Face. So, what does every super classy school prom need? It's not filled water pistols? No, silly. Something ten times as exciting. Paper chains. Lots and lots of them. And there's the paper for you to make them with. Oh, and a few balloons need blowing up. Get to work on those. I have a massive cake that needs icing. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh, Dennis, having to work for Angel Face all day must be awful for him. The best school day ever! <laughs> what? No schoolwork! Just the whole day cutting stupid strips of paper and blowing up balloons. And it's going to keep being like this until the prom's over. This is going to be awesome! What are you lot talking about? The prom. Dennis reckons it's going to be awesome. Oh, that's a relief. If this prom goes well, we'll have one every end of term and not bother with the adventure playground ever again. <laughs> what? But, 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 can't stay in chat. I have a feeling that if I don't get these papers into my car quickly, then something will happen to them. <laughs> Dennis, you have to make sure that this prom doesn't work out. Or we might lose the adventure playground trips forever. Hmm. Don't worry, Curly. Tomorrow, there's going to be some gold standard menacing. All right, Dennis. Let's see what... Huh? Ah, Ta-da! Right, Dennis. Clearly, you're not taking this seriously. So, 
If the students don't have a great time at the prom, you'll get nothing but Brenda Sprout peanut butter and marzipan stew for lunch for the rest of the year. Shiny than Mare Scrimp's wiggler's head. Hmm. Now, where, oh, where should I place this oh so wonderfully iced cake of mine? <laughs> I think the best place for it would be, uh, my mouth. Oh, please, it's not for you, Dennis. In fact, it's not for anyone. I spent far too long making it for anyone to eat it. Mm. Looks good there, doesn't it? Dennis! Want Brenda's stew for a year? Ah! <laughs> Curly, I think Dennis is broken. Nasha? Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 thanks, Nasha. Oh, I'm exhausted. Angel Face was working me like crazy. She's gone too far, Dennis. She can't get away with doing all this. We have to make this prom a disaster! No, no! If this prom isn't brilliant, I'm getting sprout, peanut butter and marzipan stew every day for a year! But if it is brilliant, no more trips to the adventure playground! Oh, what are we going to do? Right, we only have two hours before the prom starts. You need to get the balloons and paper chains up now. <laughs> right, let's get them up. Quick! Thanks for the help, Dennis. <gasps> oh. You put the decorations up? Yep. Well, Dennis, I suppose a thank you is in order. Well, come on then, thank me. Hmm, all right. How about a pat on the back? Uh, okay. Uh... Oh, by the way, I gave the floor a really good waxing. Oops! Suppose I better clean this up with water balloons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Put your feet up. <laughs> Remember what I told you? I do. And I did exactly what you asked. I made the prom great. What? See? They've got balloons. They've got ropes to swing on. They've even got an ice rink. They didn't want a prom. They wanted the adventure playground. And I've given it to them. Look at them! They're happy! You're right, Dennis. Next end of term, we're back at the adventure playground. Yes! <laughs> Dennis! <laughs> In your face! Literally. <laughs> it's a grammatical joke. Yes, <laughs> 
guns. A water pistol filled with bubble bath. <laughs> Three people in one go! <laughs> hmm, not bad. But watch this. <laughs> oh, you've still got a long way to go before you break my menacing record. Uh, 57 pranks in one day? Wow! Do you carry that with you everywhere? <laughs> Better polish up that trophy, Gran, because I'm going to win it. <laughs> gotcha, Menace. You're in big trouble now. Oh, I'm sorry, Parky. It was me, I'm afraid. I was feeding the birdies. But at my age, my eyesight's not what it was. Oh, oh I see. Oh, well, that's an honest mistake. Could happen to anyone. <laughs> Very sorry to have bothered you. Bye. And that's another reason I'm better at pranks than you. I get away with mine. Uh, <laughs> there he is. Let's get him. Get him. Run. Where'd he go? Oh, oh well. <laughs> Good disguise, Nasha. But how can we beat Gran's pranking record with everyone on the lookout for us? It's easy for her. No one suspects a sweet old lady. <gasps> That's it! <gasps> Come on, Nasha. I know how we'll win Gran's trophy. <laughs> Let's see what we have to work with. Uh, I've got Dad's old suit, Mum's scarf and sunglasses, some talcum powder. <laughs> And you fetched a table leg to make a walking stick. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, oh. Time for a menace makeover. Uh, oh. oh, hello. Is Dennis in? Oh, Dennis has gone out. I'm afraid it's just me and my faithful dog, Gummer. <laughs> You brought him a pie. How thoughtful. <coughs> no, me <my> pie. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Brilliant. If you don't recognise me, then no one will. But why? So I can break Grand's menacing record. No, I mean, why'd you give Nasha me pie? <laughs> <laughs> Dennis. Hmm. 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 Town really needs to do something about those pigeons. <laughs> That's prank number one. Menacing record. Here we come. Good day, officer. And a very good day to you, kindly old gentleman. May I offer you one of my sweets as a thank you for keeping Town free of menaces? <laughs> Oh, well, thank you, sir. Don't mind if I do. Huh. It's an old family recipe. Extra sticky toffees. Oh, it's very... no. Made oh. with red hot chilies. <laughs> mm. Looks like you could use a drink to wash them down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't mention it. <laughs> Another two pranks done, only 55 more to go. <laughs> Excuse me, son. Huh? Can you help us cross the street? Yes, of course, sir. <laughs> oh, dear, I forgot I need to go to the shops. Oh. <laughs> oh, was I on the way to bingo? Oh, OK. <laughs> Maybe I should pop in to see my cousin Beryl first. <laughs> After I've returned my library book <laughs> and visited the optician, down the bed. Second talk, we'll just stand there. <laughs>
Benjamin. And the fake snake in a can at the supermarket makes 28. Over halfway there. <laughs> We're bound to beat the record. <gasps> and look, there's Gran. And a chance for another prank. <laughs> oh, I see you like flowers, madam. Perhaps you'd care to take a look at the one in my buttonhole. Hey! <laughs> Got you, Gran! <laughs> Dennis? <laughs> no one suspects us old people of being menaces. That record is in the bag. Well, I'm impressed. Congratulations! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> ah, the only person who's going to beat my record is me. It is on. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, I think you've got my false teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the print in this menu is far too small. Makes my eyes go funny. <laughs> oh. Something. These old people are nearly as bad as Dennis. What's that, Sarge? Old folks running a mocking Beano town. I'm on it. I've matched your record at 57 pranks, Gran. Just one more, and I'll break it. Oh, yeah? Well, I only need one more prank to set a new record. Here they are! Let's go. them. What's the problem, officer? I was just out doing a bit of shopping. She's been pulling pranks all over Beano Town. No, no, no. I'm just a sweet old lady. <laughs> you better come with me. Oh, no. Looks like Gran's in real trouble this time. And there's the other one. Only one way to save Gran. That's right. I'm the Beano Town prankster. But I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> oh, oh, Dennis the Menace! The one and only! <laughs> I've had half the town complaining about you, Dennis. You're grounded for a month. After all that, we didn't even break Gran's record. Don't be so sure. Huh? But I never finished my last prank. Yes, you did. Your old man disguise was one of the best pranks I have ever seen. On the record for the most pranks in a day with a whopping 58 pranks is yours. Woohoo! <laughs> Yes! Oh, thanks, Gran. Well, thank you for taking the heat off me. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Gran! Well, I've got to start setting a new record. Keep your fleas on, Nasha. <laughs> It'll be home time before you know it. Nash, Nash. OK, boys, this lesson's about to get menaced. Uh, hurry up, then! It's about to blow! Uh. <gasps> Cool your eyes, Paul. All of them. So, class, 
you should now have a beaker of green liquid. Green liquid? What? Green liquid? Uh. Green, not brown, Dennis. <laughs> when Mrs Creature sees my perfect results, I'll get my fifth gold star this week. You have... Wears a striped jumper. <laughs> it's out of control! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Applause in class, everyone! Evacuate the school! <laughs> what about my gold star? What a result! No school today! <laughs> Not so fast. Thanks to your little experiment, the whole school has to be fumigated. You will look after Polygon until tomorrow morning. Oh, but miss... Take good care of Polygon or you'll be cleaning his cage forever. <laughs> Polly! Gone! I've just had a five-star idea. Oh, this pirate really rates his pie. <laughs> Do you get it? Pirate? No? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bombs ready, Captain. Time to shiver dance timbers. <laughs> oh, oh, rain? Monsoon? Oh. Dennis! <laughs> 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 Captain's parrot, water bombs, or should I say, Walter bombs, away! What? Walter bombs away! What? Pirate pet. <laughs> Don't worry, you're still my first mate, Nasha. Tea time, boys. Oh, great! I'm starving. <laughs> what? First mate, Nasha. Look after our new friend, Nash. Gone. Just hear him. How's your parrot impressions? <sighs> What's he done now? <laughs> Testing Menace Voice Projector. Testing Menace Voice Projector. <laughs> nice one, Dennis. Time to squat the squat, Curly. No, no, I, no, I should do it. I'm much more of a bird brain than you. Yeah. 
This is Creature's come to check on Polygon, Dennis. I've just covered up the cage to give his eyes a rest. He's fine. He'll tell you himself. Won't you? Oh. I said, won't you? I'm fine, Squawk! I'm fine, Squawk! Dennis is the best! See? Nothing to worry about. Yeah, I, I like pie fed too, Squawk. Get off. <laughs> Sorry about that. I mean, Squawk! I've taught him some impressions. <laughs> oh, well, I am impressed, Dennis. Can I take a little peek at him? <laughs> On second thoughts, I just make sure he's back in school tomorrow morning. <laughs> He's a pie. Nice, 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 nice. Wait, these aren't parrot feathers. They're pillow feathers. Maybe Polygon had a pajama party that got out of control. Yeah. Or he got out. But how? Nash, 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 nash. Oh, oh, oh. Nash, nash, nash. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, Nasher. Sorry. Nash, nash. Team Menace, we got to find that parrot right now. Where would a parrot hang out? Guaranteed to attract our feathered friends. Oh, and if he doesn't fancy it. Well done, Pie Face, it's working! Uh, I bet too well! <laughs> What's wrong, Dennis? In a flap about something? <laughs> If I don't find Polygon before tomorrow, Mrs. Creature's going to be a screecher. Dennis, I got a brilliant plan. Really? All is going to be okay. Who's a pretty potato then? I'm a dead man. Yes, Dennis. I can't wait to see what you've got under there. There he is. <gasps> Good old Paul. They gone. That's a potato, Dennis. Yo, oh, she's good. Where is Polygon? <laughs> He's right here, Miss. Oh, what? Oh, my word! You've taught Polygon to be a homing parrot. Excellent work, Dennis. What? Don't thank him. It was me that let him out. Um, uh, uh, uh that is, uh, I mean, um, uh, oh, no. Ah, Walter did it! What? Walter did it! Walter! I am taking back all your stars. <gasps> oh, no, 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 not my stars! <laughs> And you, Dennis, can take care of Polygon anytime. How about tonight? <laughs> ah, hey, Nasha, I reckon Walter would love something refreshing. Nash, Nash! Polygon? What? 